That's how you con your other half into buying you a bag. Well, I, I need something to, to wear on a summer day. So what I got was this. It's got ruffles. Two Find, for the price of yeah, one. Yeah, two for the price of one. Jason is driving a, a Mitsubishi Evo. And I'm just making sure the camera doesn't fly off the, the top of the dashboard. It won't shake now. The owner of the car doesn't look too impressed. This is Gerald's car, everyone. Quick, quick, get in the back. Drive safe. Drive safe. Drive safe. Drive safe. Bye. They can't hear you. Bye. <laughs> They've been playing this uh, whispering game ever since they got here. It's not a game, it's not a game. Drive safely. You've driven a manual in so long. Clutch on the left. <laughs> Whoops. Clutch on the left, brake in the middle. Are you sure you're right to drive this? <laughs> This is not my manual. And Joe's staring out the door. <laughs> oh god. I'm sweating already. Like more nervous than when you drove the Lamborghini? Different kind of nervous. We're going to Vista. I'm going to do some shopping. He stole your car like I 20 times. Like seriously, just Don't driving out. It was like, Ugh. <clears throat> That's not called stalling. We're in the second shop. <laughs> it's gonna be a long, long day. Should I get some new sunnies? Which one do you guys think? There's too much running around Vista and it was hard to film so there's not much footage but we thought let's round off the clip with what we bought in London. I think Vista is quite a great shopping location. Everything's all in the same spot and it's actually quite comfortable to stroll around but the day that we were there was kind of raining. Because it still is the summer holiday so there are a lot of people there regardless of whether it's a weekday or the weekend so it was just a bit hectic I thought and the lines were massive so as soon as you walk into a store and you see the line you're immediately kind of like put off you're like uh, I'm not waiting in that line who started buying first I think it was you because I only bought one thing for this time. no 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 you started first we have a, a favorite it's a store that sells leather jackets. I already have a million of their jackets. Sarah was a bit cold that afternoon, so she wanted to get a leather jacket. Okay, so that was something she forgot to bring out. Yeah, so I got myself this leather jacket from All Saints. Kind of a dark, dark grey colour, which I don't have. I think they call it charcoal. But it's great, it's got kind of quilting inside, so it's warm. It was £140, plus an extra 30% off, like a little bit over £100. As I was going to say, I have stuff that's very similar already in my wardrobe. 
All Saints. This is All Saints. This is All Saints. This is All, all Saints. Saints. I have similar stuff to the stuff that they had in the shop. That's what I'm going to say. So I didn't buy anything. Yes, you did. You bought the two jumpers. Well, you bought those. No, I did. Well, I kind of. Yeah, they're your Christmas presents. Ridiculous. But he picked out two cardigans, which are pretty cool. So that's pretty good. 50 quid? No, and then they were 30% off. It was so cool that I wanted to get one upstairs in the men's department, and they had nothing. There's not much selection in the men's department, so... That jacket was one of a few items we actually bought in Bista, and we queued in Burberry for about almost half an hour. Yeah, to pay. Two. I got this double-breasted classic trench. I've been wanting it for a long time. This jacket is a size 4, and I'll be wearing it for as long as I can fit in this jacket. Whatever that means. Yeah, well, you know, maybe one day I'll get, like, bigger and... You know, maybe after having babies and stuff, I'll be able to fit. This is a just fit right now. We also got this for mum, Sarah's mum, and my mum too. It looks very nice. I'm not sure about how warm it is, but what the... It's a present. Yeah. Lovely. Now, when she was in Burberry, I went into Todd's to find myself another backpack. If you recall, this was from last year. This is a brand new 2017. They're comfy. Good to use, practical. The little compartments inside are good, so I thought, hmm, maybe they have uh, the previous season's one. I was looking for the big square one with the chunky pockets on the side and the front, and uh, maybe they might have that one. Didn't and they didn't. But! Check this baby out! Yeah, this is gorgeous, this bag. It's a uh, very light grey, last year's collection, Up and between here. it's lovely. Can I use this one as well? This is quite a girly colour. No, this is a man's colour. No, it's like a light grey. I oh, can look at use this. it. Can, can you see how manly it is? Alright, I'll use your brown one then. That's it. That was it, I think. We went very late in the afternoon. So having bought our stuff, the, the Burberry, the All Saints and the Todd stuff, it was already 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Yeah, o six o'clock. So at 6 we thought, let's go home and have dinner. So Jason's been looking for white joggers for a long time. Even if you come across a pair, they normally don't have his size. Mm. Uh, I've resorted to going online to get my shoes. This pair, so I got these on ASOS. I know my size, a UK 9. That's where I buy my trainers now, online, because they don't have it in the shop here in Hong Kong. Okay. Every time we go to London, he'll bring back a pair of trainers. Oh, that's where my belt is. Inside your trainers. I couldn't find my belt. There's the other one. Idiot. JD Sports. White Nikes, they're pretty cool. Yeah, so Gerald bought two pairs of these, one pair as a spare, and because they're now completely sold out, he was very generous and he was like, look, Jace, if you like these, you can have them. Thank you, Gerald. Sarah is really fortunate because she can save a load of money when she buys her trainers. Please tell us. So we were in Night Town. I was looking for white trainers as well because I want to be cool like Jason. <laughs> I got these. I don't know what they're called. What's this model called? Found these really handsome shoes. They're really comfy. Really comfy, really light. Yeah, UK three. Sometimes it's a three and a half. You have to try it on. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yay, nice. You know, I can't find these in Hong Kong and they're really comfy, all white, very sexy. These were a hundred and 120 pounds. So I was like, all right, since I can't get them in Hong Kong, I'll take these. The story goes, she was buying these and these cost 120. And then she saw these ones. Wow, these are really pretty. Can I get these in a UK size 3 too? And then uh, these cost 120 quid. But they didn't have this in her size. Yeah, so we went, oh god, I'm really disappointed. So let's take these ones and just go. So we went downstairs. As I was trying tennis shoes, she found a kids department. And these are kids shoes. <laughs> kids size 4. If these were adult size, they would have cost exactly the same as these. As kids' shoes, these cost... 48 pounds. 40, 50 quid. That's half the price <laughs> of adult shoes. And they're exactly the same! These kids' shoes are the same as the adult shoes. And how crazy is that? It's super crazy. Like, I was like, woohoo! Yeah, but kids' shoes you don't get taxed back, which is fair enough because they're already a great price. Two Find, for the price yeah, of one. Yeah, two for the price of one. Yeah, practically. Pretty awesome. So just a note when you guys go shopping for the ladies who have small feet, check the kids section out. 
because I got this massive discount on my shoes, Jason's like, all right, I'll make up for it. And he, uh, he added a load of like three quarter trackies and a tank top and more trackies. Obviously they're the same style in different color. That was our trip to Nike Town. I'm a big fan of G-Star. That's a pair. That's another pair. That's a third pair. Westfield is a shopping center in White Shepherd's City. Bush. Yeah, why is it? I yeah. guess they have them in Hong Kong, but uh, we were in London, get taxed back. Yeah, are they the same style in different colors? I'm afraid they are. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I've got three, four shirts at Top Man. Because the Top Man selection in London, they have more variety. I got myself a men's white t-shirt in extra, extra small. Excellent. So it looks cool. When I went to London, I thought, wow, I need something to, to wear on a summer day. So what I got was this from Mango. It's got ruffles. It's very ooh, popular ooh, this season. Ooh. 20 pounds. One's in Taiku Sheng. And one is in... TST TST K11. K11. In Hong Kong, it's this big. In London, it's like this big. This silver top, I don't know why I it's bought it. Gold. I bought it because it was only 10 pounds. So Maybe she can wear it to space. I'm sure like maybe during Christmas or like Chinese, Chinese New, New Year, Year or something <laughs> They always ask you to wear something shiny Shiny or red <laughs> My stylist can help me put it together I don't really care 50 quid for these ankle boots From Mango Yeah, they don't have this colour in Hong Kong Like in any of the stores including Zara and H&M So I thought, oh what the heck, I'll just get it 50 quid And they're really, really comfortable How sexy are these? Also bought this Did you? long overcoat, but like a sheer type of fabric. Great for autumn. And this was 60 quid. All right, I also got these earrings. It's are cute, it's gold. And on the outside, it's dark blue. Contrasts of dark and gold always go very well together. Oh yeah, I forgot about this bag. The story goes, uh, how would you like to pay for this bag? Oh, by credit card. <gasps> Oh, I think I left my credit card on the dining table at home. Oh, can you pay for it first with your credit card? Do you take Amex? Thanks. <laughs> oh, it's here! Oh, I just need to sign my passport. I'm such a silly goose. Oh, gosh. Thanks! That's how you con your other half into buying you a bag. Be careful, guys. <laughs> Be very careful. It's the Celine So bag. So that's our loot from London. I think you bought more than me. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs>